morning and it's Holly D with Holly D traveling after transplant and we are on day two here on Carnival Freedom. Cannot wait to get this day started. Um, it is a sea day so kind of low-key just the way I like it. It is also Valentine's Day so I'll have to see if there's any new kind of exciting activities for about that and of course sea day brunch. Um, I believe there are a few activities with the Facebook group but um, pretty much just kind of a low-key sea day and enjoying being out on the open water. So let's go see what today has to offer. Make sure to make those memories and not dreams and live every day as a gift because that's what it is. Okay, so here we are in the posh dining room, and it is where they have the sea day brunch. Um, the wait said it would have been 10 minutes. Um, it was not 10 minutes. It was as soon as I got here. Um, but do make sure you use level five as your main corridor because uh, like, three and four do not go all the way through because of the other dining room so you're kind of like stuck if you're on the front and try to make it to the back because posh here is on three aft so just use five as your main corridor of how to get across the ship all right so just finished up with breakfast or brunch for the sea day brunch uh, I did order a few new items, so I'll do a little quick review real quick. Sorry, I am in a public area, so you're going to get a little talking. So this is the chicken and waffles, and it's a fleet white complaint that I have, is that they chop their chicken into like smaller pieces, but it leaves like little shards of bone in it, so it's not even like typical like fried chicken where you get like a breast or a thigh or a leg or anything. You get like whatever piece it is and then just like shards of it. So it's kind of hard to uh, eat, but it was very good. Nice and nice temperature, really warm today. And then I ordered the kids mac and cheese, which has to be one of their best mac and cheeses that I've had. Uh, I just can't eat all of it. And then the cheese sticks were a complete miss for me. Uh, I'd heard re good reviews on them, but it was not my thing. And I really don't understand why they came with French fries, too. But, but just a quick review of the brunch. Um, let's see. It took less than a half hour. So pretty good on time. Very attentive and all that kind of thing. But um, yeah, sea day brunch. Let's move along and see what else we can get into. Alright, so we have found some of the secret ducks here on Freedom. We're actually on the seventh one right now at the front. And you actually enter it by the sixth floor. You just take the sixth floor all the way forward. Um, there are little doors that will let you out here. But there's nobody else out here. Really peaceful, really quiet. It is very windy as you can tell. But they do have like benches for you to sit out here so you can like read a book. Just kind of relax and take it all in. Okay, so now we are on the secret deck on 10. And it is a lot windier up here, but it is also a lot bigger. So I'll let you see here. Another beautiful, quiet spot. Good afternoon. Here we are, uh, about like four o'clock on our first sea day, actually day two, if you look at the itinerary. But um, today has been a lot of fun. 
it's actually kind of exhausting, but it's been a lot of fun. Uh, went to the um, Sea Day brunch and it was very good. Gave that review already. And the service was amazing as far as timing. Um, so I really want to give props to that because a lot of times they get dogged on. But no, great in and out time. Everything was warm. Awesome. After that, went and went to um, like look at all the secret decks and all that kind of thing. Um, a lot of fun, a lot of walking, uh, but definitely got those steps in. Saw the Serenity deck. Serenity deck is a little different than I'm used to. Um, just because it doesn't have a pool on this class of ship. So it does have hot tubs, but no pool. So it's just kind of a whole bunch of people like laying out. And when we went and walked around, it was probably like 9 30, 10 o'clock, and almost all of the seats were already reserved, which is not uncommon on a sea day. So make sure if you want to go up there and relax to get there early to save your spot and remember your sunscreen. Um, after that, went to the shore excursion um, presentation sales gimmick, whatever you want to call it. Um, Gabe did a really good job of like keeping it interesting and moving along. Uh, a lot of like free stuff, excursions given away, uh, just kind of fun. He made really light of it, kind of did some games for a few of the prizes and things like that. Um, I, the solo traveler, <laughs> won a Valentine's package for two to the steakhouse with a bottle of wine. There's a picture of it somewhere, but it's like packed white. Um, it's like wine or champagne or something. I don't know. It's something in a bottle that I don't open. So um, very, very interesting that the solo traveler gets that. And everybody kind of joked because Gabe's like, are you buying yourself? And I was like, yep. And he's like, ooh, go hungry. <laughs> It was kind of fun, but um, just kind of roll with it. It is what it is. Uh, but one uh, steakhouse dinner for two uh, since it's Valentine's Day. Um, not going on Valentine's Day for sure. Um, gonna go later on in the week to use that. But um, after that, did the shopping show, and whoo, it was a marathon. Um, I usually go just. Or the prizes honestly and there really wasn't anything else going on so went to it and she went for almost like an hour and a half I didn't think it was ever going to end she did a couple giveaways but towards the end she was so rushed that she like grouped all the prizes that she had into one grand prize and gave it to one person so we were all sitting in there for one person to get everything um, and then after that, they have like an entry to, um, what is it? It's like a free cruise up to a certain amount. Um, and in order to do that, you have to like physically hand it to her. Um, and she has to like give you a little bit of a sales gimmick, kind of like a timeshare thing, um, before it's entered. And that line took forever. Like, I don't know if she gets paid by the hour or what, but that thing went on forever. I probably won't go for the next couple cruises because I done made up for it on that one. But um, yeah, really long. Um, really wish they had drink service that came around during that. But. Oh well, I did it. It was part of an experience. Did learn a little bit more about ports that I just kind of take for granted. Um, being Amber Cove and Grand Turk, so it was good. After that, went to the group slot pole. And again, that was a marathon. Like literally stood the whole time. And um, the time it took for the whole group slot pole um, was pretty close to an hour and 45 minutes. It took a very long time. Um, there was 75 participants. Um, didn't really hit a big amount. Wasn't really hang out that well we did hit a couple like bonuses or whatever that kept us going so we did our original four pulls and then we did two pulls then we did one pull 
and we still had some left over and we just decided to go and give it to St. Jude. Well, most of us. There were a few that wanted their four dollars back, but the rest of us were like done. We were like, eh, that's enough. We're done. But um, great that it's going to St. Jude for the most part and that we had a good time and kind of just got to meet new people and all that kind of thing. Uh, now back in the room so that I can get ready. It is formal night tonight. Um, not gonna go huge formal, but um, formal night. And then um, up on the Lido, they are doing the largest vowel renewal at sea. So every single carnival ship that is currently in service is having people meet on their Lidos. Here it's five o'clock. Um, and they are going to do vowel renewals for couples that um, are here on the ship. I'm just going to witness. Um, it kind of senses of uh, celebration to me, but let's hope it works better than celebration did. <laughs> so um, yeah, and then after that we'll go to dinner. But first I gotta get ready and definitely like wash all this lovely casino smell out of my hair. So come along and join in the fun might get to sit down here in a few minutes so let's get on moving making those memories and not dreams make sure to like and subscribe and share if you have any questions about freedom while i'm here on the ship make sure you write them in the comments um again i release release the videos as i'm on the ship so um if it's a new video i am still on the ship but um i will see you later let's go get ready Okay, so this is the vowel renewal. I got no vowels to renew. So here it is. Honor them and support them. And it is led by Shaq, and it's on all the ships. We promise to treat them with kindness, compassion, and patience this day and every day. Do you promise to never miss a lead old dick party? just gotten um, back and was gonna get all dressed up did that um, went up to the fleet wide largest vowel renewal uh, I guess for Valentine's Day I guess this is the best way to describe it I don't know not my thing but um, it was really really a good turnout um, for here I didn't get to see any of the other ships we were a little bit late getting up there um, just for us taking it longer to get ready but when we got up there I know where they have the dance floor they had all of the couples gather there was um, champagne glasses kind of like almost like New Year's kind of thing and they had some vowels that were led by Shaquille O'Neal um, Shaq so they recited those then they toasted, they had um, like a first dance, kind of slow song, um, kind of cool and romantic if you're into that kind of thing. And then at the end they did serve cake, um, didn't get any cake, there was a huge line for it and we knew we were going to go to dinner here anytime. So um, yeah, it turned out well. It went probably for 30 minutes, 40 minutes maybe, uh, but yeah. 
definitely a turn out. Hopefully it worked um, fleet wide, but it worked well here. And then um, took a couple of pictures with the beautiful sunset. And then um, the friends that I met here uh, did the professional photography that they have set up all over the ship. And honestly, this ship probably had 12 to 15 backdrops um, to take pictures at. I was like almost shocked at how many they had um, just in multiple spots. And it was on like three floors, um, lots and lots of choices. I still think they're pretty corny, most of them, like the Titanic staircase. Um, the huge chandelier, uh, boat things like where you're on the side of a boat, like the railing, um, things like that. I really don't understand why they don't do green screens yet and just have a few green screens set up and then um, kind of change the backgrounds via a computer, but to each their own. After pictures, went into main dining or your time dining for dinner. It was a little slower tonight. It probably took about an hour and a half, um, hour and 40 minutes for dinner. It wasn't as well orchestrated as it was last night, but it's kind of expected for formal night just because a lot more families and groups go into the dining room for dinner. And it's a little more, I guess, complicated dishes with like the prime rib and things like that. But, um, very good temperature wise, seasoning wise. Um, let's see, what did I have? I had the shrimp cocktail. It wasn't as well presented tonight, but it was still just as good. I had the mushroom soup, which I always loved. And then I had the garlic shrimp and then the iron steak or some, some kind of steak. Um, the shrimp were amazing and the garlic really stood out and was really good. And there was like steamed broccoli and grilled broccoli with it. So it was really good. And then um, the steak, I ordered it well, kind of like I have to, um, but it was pretty tough to cut. I did eat like half of it, um, partly because I was getting full, but um, it was just kind of a little tough. But the mashed potatoes with the steak was amazing. Um, I think they were garlic potatoes because they did seem to have some flavor to it. Um, and very, very, very good. And they weren't like instant potatoes. They actually have like chunks of potatoes in it. And then dessert was creme brulee. And you know, I love my creme brulee. So that was wonderful, nice and warm. The hard, crunchy top, um, very, very good. So brings us to now. Um, we're a little late for the first showing of the show, so we're going to have to wait and go to the 9.30 show, and then um, we'll try to find some fillers. There's music all over the ship. You might be able to hear the like celestial strings or whatever they call themselves on this one of the electric violins that play kind of contemporary music, so um, they're playing in the atrium, and I think there's a whole bunch of other bands playing tonight too. We are going to see what we can get into, definitely making those memories and not dreams and living every day as a gift because that's what it is. So um, thank you for all the new subscribers and ones that are interacting with the video. Um, love to see the interaction and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's just a lot of fun. So we will see you around the ship and let's see what we can get into. Okay, so today is full of moments of it only happens around me. Um, one. My hands are sunburned, but it's only my index finger and my thumb on both hands. It hurts really bad. Now, we get back to my friend's cabin, and um, they say this isn't a problem. It's only supposed to be water activated. I'm worried. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, Lord.
together under. Good night from Freedom. It is the end of Sea Day, day two, and it's been a like eventful long day. I am pooped, but it was so much fun. Um, caught up after dinner with you guys already, and again, it was good. Um, a little bit longer tonight, but it's expected. It's a formal night. And then after that, we came back to our rooms to change because we aren't dressed up people. <laughs> like our feet were hurting and we were, we were done being dressed up. So then um, went to Red Frog Pub, which is different than the one that's up on the Lido deck. Um, this one is down on the fifth floor, I believe, fifth or third, one of those. Um, and it's actually inside. It has like table games, foosball. They have a stage for a performer and it was a solo male artist, um, did kind of guitar and um, like recorded back ground stuff. But he did really, really well. Um, he went over his set and kind of just listened to the crowd of if a bunch of people came in and he was still supposed to be like finishing his set, he would just keep going, um, which a lot of times you don't see with a lot of the cruise ship performers. Um, like they pretty much stick to when they are scheduled to have their breaks and they kind of don't listen to like the crowd or whatever. But this guy did an amazing job at that. So props to him. He was also a bilingual singer, which um, was very popular. And I can understand most of um, what he's saying and all that kind of thing. So it was a lot of fun. Um, drinks came pretty quick. Um, they were good quality. They had a bunch of like different ones that I hadn't seen, but I usually don't go into red um, frog pubs, so it was a good experience. After that, went to the production show for the night, and I love shows, but that one, it missed the mark on a whole different level. Um, they did the I call it the COVID sit down because we're missing people um, kind of show where they bring out stools and they just sit. But everybody that was there last night when they did like the full dancing and all that was there still today. So um, I think it's just the way the show is designed now. Uh, sitting on the stools, you could tell like the singers and the performers were even a little uncomfortable sitting like they were all just like dancing on their stools which then just made them look like they had ADHD <laughs> so um the vocals aren't as strong as they are on a lot of other ships they're trying they're doing the best that they can um but totally missed the mark I actually left before the end of it um which I hardly ever do but um wanted to try to get something else before it got packed but we failed at that mission. Um, we wanted to go into the late night comedy, which was like at 1030. And it was a huge line. It went all of floor five, all the way to um, like back at the casino. So long, long line, um, very packed, but it was the one late night comedy, sh comedy show tonight. So understandable. But then we went to the piano bar which was totally different than other experiences. Um, usually you can't find a seat. Uh, it's high energy, uh, kind of like joking around and things like that. And this one is a little more like subtle, easily find a seat. It was not full at all. Um, the performer did a great job and he was very interactive with the crowd and all that. He does have a very strong accent when he sings and I couldn't pinpoint the accent of like where it was from or anything like that um kind of like a spanish um central american maybe south america i don't know um but definitely not one that i'm re like regularly around that i can pinpoint it so i think maybe it might be a mixture of different um accents and second languages and all that kind of stuff but he did a good job it was interactive uh, we left when the slow song started because we were tired and, uh, yeah, we were like, let's just call it a night. But, um, overall, a great day. 
I do have to kind of chuckle now because there were a lot of people in like the shore excursion show and the shopping show and um when I won my Valentine's Day dinner and champagne wine whatever it is for two like even the cruise director was like are you by yourself and I was like yep I am so now like we'll be in an elevator and some lady will like knock on to her husband be like that's the steakhouse lady and I'm like hmm, okay but it's just kind of fun that of course I would win a couple's thing but it's okay uh, we figured it out we're gonna go to the steakhouse later in the week so um, look forward to that but for tonight we are gonna call it a night get some editing done go to bed and wake up for um, Amber Cove tomorrow and we are doing an all-inclusive which I have not done before um, like through carnival so this should be exciting we'll see how it goes um, it's a fairly like kind of short day uh, we don't get in until 10 30 and I think we have to be back by like 5 or 5 30 so um, kind of a quick in and out to port but uh, yeah can't wait to see what tomorrow brings make sure if you're liking this content to make sure to like subscribe share and just comment below on um, if you've been on freedom was the peanut bar kind of still all subtle or did it kind of get vamped up as the week went on I'd like to hear what you guys have to say and I will see you tomorrow because I'm definitely gonna keep making those memories and not dreams because life is a gift make sure you live like it see you tomorrow guys oh I have a tail on the animal finally I forgot you'll see a picture of him here in a little bit but anybody knows I didn't get any towel animals on my December and January cruise so I have one he says good night see you guys tomorrow